Following one of the biggest Oscar incidents in history of cinema, the future of Bad Boys became quite uncertain. Luckily or not, Bad Boys 4 is most definitely happening, but this continuation will be a lot different compared to its predecessors. Different how? Keep watching to find out. Let's start off with one very important question. Should Bad Boys 4 move forward without Will Smith? Okay, 2022 was a wild year. Lindsay Lohan came back, Twitter was sold to Elon Musk, Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial was followed by millions of people all over the world, and well, the oh slap moment at the Oscars took everyone by surprise. This slap heard around the world was, without a doubt, something not a single soul expected to happen. In one of the most important moments in his acting career, Will Smith won the Best Actor award for his role in King Richard, but this is not what everyone talked about. Sorry, rich white people, we're not just black. We cops too. After the 2022 ceremony presenter, Chris Rock made a joke on stage about Jada Pinkett Smith, who has alopecia. The actress's husband, Will Smith, decided to go on stage and slap the comedian on the face. Since the cancel culture was at its peak back then, we expected Smith's career to be over. Audiences watching in the room and at home, Twitter went crazy, appeared shocked, and the incident was discussed for nearly a month. Chris Rock has refused to press charges, but Smith's upcoming projects were hugely affected. Fast and Loose and Bad Boys 4. Actors all over the world got cancelled because of less serious things and finding out that both of these movies would happen with Smith in the lead role does sound surprising considering what he did at the Oscars. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Netflix was quick to stop the development of Fast and Loose following the Oscars incident, however, Will Smith is not the only reason for this project being put on hold. The director of the film, David Leitch, left the project a week before in order to focus on Ryan Gosling's Fall Guy. Look, everything's gonna be alright, I, I trust me on this. So. Okay, everything's gonna be all right. THR also stated that Sony has put the sequel Bad Boys 4 on hold because of Will Smith and his decision to slap Chris Rock in front of the entire world. But this doesn't mean that the sequel is cancelled. This doesn't mean that Will Smith won't star in the film. This just means that Sony will take longer than expected to create the much anticipated follow up. Will's career is not over. Everyone makes mistakes and the actor apologized for what he did. Yes, we know he should be punished, and he is. Smith has been banned from the Oscars gala and other Academy events for 10 years. I need this. Bad boys. One last time. However, some fans think Bad Boys 4 should move on without Smith. To be honest, I don't agree with these fans because continuing the franchise without one of its biggest stars would not be fair to everyone else involved in the project. Recasting won't feel natural because the previous three projects had the same characters. Killing off Smith's character would make no sense as well. The creators needed 17 years to give fans the much needed continuation, and if they decide to make another continuation without Mike Lowry, well, that could ruin the entire franchise. Don't you guys agree? The Bad Boys franchise is practically about Marcus Burnett and Mike Lowry. Seeing another actor play Mike might seem like a good idea at first, but it's definitely not. At least that's what I think. You know what you can be, Marcus? What? Quiet. Oh, I should be quiet. Yeah. Per report by Sony, it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, do you guys think Bad Boys 4 should move on without Smith? Let us know before we dive into some production details. Following the slapping incident, there have been plenty of rumors about Bad Boys continuing without one of its lead stars. Martin Lawrence decided to address those rumors. Interestingly enough, he shared a lot of positive pieces of information about the production of Bad Boys 4 following the two successful movies, Marcus Burnett and Mike Lowry. Played by Lawrence and co-star Will Smith teamed up in 2020 for the third installment of the action comedy masterpiece. Who in the hell want to sing that song? Good man, good man, what you gonna do? The thing is, no one expected Bad Boys for Life to be better than its predecessors, which is why a sequel to the film Bad Boys 4 was quickly given a green light. As expected, everyone thought Bad Boys 4 got cancelled in 2022, but in an interview with Ebony, Lawrence talked about his relationship with Smith and the chances of the film happening, and he said they have to make at least one more film. As rumors about Smith being involved in the project started circulating on the internet, Sony chairman Tom Rothman decided to give us an update in May 2022 saying that the sequel is still in development at the studio and based on what Lawrence said, Smith is still attached to the project. It really is simple, Bad Boys wouldn't work without Smith, so we have two options. One, we get to see another continuation with Smith in it. Two, Sony makes no more continuations and we're left with three Bad Boys films. She just wasn't the one for me. What right? is for you, Mike? Dying all alone and sad as shit? What would you choose? 
I have a feeling that if Smith returns for yet another film, and that film proves to be successful enough, we might see yet another BB project in the future. The fact that this franchise holds great potential for many continuations is what makes a lot of fans happy. But what could Bad Boys 4's story be? The creators of the franchise plan to make a continuation prior to the release of the third installment, which is why Bad Boys 3 ends on a cliffhanger. At the end of the third film, viewers discover that Armando Armas is Mike Lowry's son. Prior to joining forces with Marcus, Mike worked undercover in Mexico and was in a romantic relationship with Isabel Arites. In Bad Boys for Life's conclusion, Isabel is dying and Armando discovers the truth. Bad Boys for Life's post credit scene is why we know a fourth film will most definitely happen. Mike tells his son about his plans for the future, which means that the fourth installment could deal with Armando working with the Ammo Task Force. So is there a potential release date yet? Because of the many delays, it looks like we'll have to wait a bit longer until we see the fourth installment. Hopefully, we won't have to wait 17 years again. Since Sony Pictures started working on the fourth installment shortly after the release of Bad Boys 3, the follow-up might release sometime in 2024 at the earliest. This slap truly messed up the film production, but since Smith is back in the game, a 2024 release date seems likely. What you talking about now? We said we were doing this together. Oh no, I have to work. Uh, I'll check on you tomorrow. I'll bring wine. In a not-so-recent interview, Sony chairman Tom Rothman said that the Oscars incident didn't really delay the project so much because the project was already put on hold. It's still unknown why the project got delayed, but the pandemic affected the entire film industry, which is a reason good enough to put a film on pause. Once we're given an official release date, we'll give you an update. Bad Boys for Life was released in theaters 17 years after Bad Boys 2, and with such a big fan base, the film turned out to be quite popular and successful. Critics and fans praised the film with the project breaking records box office-wise. Bad Boys for Life made a whopping $426 million in theaters, and since film creators care about money, they will miss out on the opportunity of making yet another successful project that would hopefully break more records. How you doing? Well, I'm paying my debt. <sighs> it's a big one. Both Mike and Marcus survived the third installment, and as mentioned before, the film left us on a cliffhanger, and with several questions regarding the character's future, we do know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Bad Boys for Live gives us a promising future to a new critical character as well. Jacob Scipio's Armando Aritas could easily join the two stars in their upcoming adventures. The next installment will also introduce a bunch of new characters. Sadly, Sony is yet to release more details regarding the plot for the movie, the cast ensemble, and, well, Smith's involvement. See you in the next video.